Hey folks, today we're going to be playing some airships conquer the skies Starting up a new campaign this morning. I played uh, an, I streamed an earlier campaign and it failed utterly in the within an hour um, So hopefully tonight we have a little more luck First up we've got to pick our class and uh, our start setting the foundation for our, our country and to do that, we need our coat of arms. Um, now, oh, this stuff is, one, you're going to see it stamped on everything in the game. And two, it comes with a unique bonus. Um, and this stuff is really powerful. We're talking, okay, like this one, minus 50% to steal armor cost. It's huge. It's going to change, I mean, drastically reduce the price of your ships. Now, I um, what I'm thinking we're going to go with this time is there is one of these that gives us a, it makes our cannons twice as accurate. And that sounds fantastic. All right, that is, that's the eagle. Uh, we're going to stick with this color scheme. Actually, one second. There we go. That's better. Windows was looking out for my eyes. Put on night mode. Okay, so we'll stick with the eagle. I like this color scheme. Very oppressive. Let's get going. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna be the advent. Hope the music comes back. Starting out with tier one tech, everything can be standard, standard map size. I'm going to go with the mixed. All right. So now what we had this morning happen was basically you start the game with a ship. You should start the game with a default ship. And for whatever reason, this morning, we didn't get one. Um, so we started completely defenseless. Now we have some buildings that are on the map, but the buildings themselves are not terribly effective at defending. Now it's happening again. We don't have a starter ship. And I'm wondering if what it's doing is, it may just be a difficulty level thing. Um, so we'll we'll try to build something but for five hundred and seventy nine dollars we're not going to be able to do a whole lot um, I also want to crank this up to severe it's going to cost us a little bit of money but right now we've only got one building in most of these things in most of our cities and since we don't have any ships having them be able to sabotage our defensive buildings leaves our cities completely defenseless so I think it's worth that extra investment Let's take a look at what we can build. We've got nothing. Oh, okay. We're going to have to design a ship that is capable of flying for... <laughs> Ugh. Wait, okay. Um, we're actually going to let time run for a little bit and see if we can get some money before we try to go and uh, build a ship. Because we really can't make anything that is going to stand up to anybody right now. Okay. We've got 700 and almost $70. Uh, we should be able to do something with that. At least enough to be able to defend, put up a fight. Um, we just need a deterrent, really. So this thing needs to be pretty fast. It's going to be primarily a defensive ship. Um, I don't want, I, I usually tend to lean on these large suspension dust tanks in the beginning, but I really want to stay away from that for this ship. It needs to be pretty durable, and those just really cut back on how how long-lasting your ship is going to be. So let's, let's start with a torsion ballista. Simple, but effective against lightly armored targets. I think we're going to go with cannons. Oops. This is our our country's specialty, and I'd like to take advantage of that. So something like this. We're just going to make kind of your bog standard. 
It's going to have a propeller in the back, um, cannons in the front. Uh, I'd like to give it some small guns, uh, at least one rifle. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it tends to be uh, pretty effective at taking out uh, especially strike craft and just and even taking out crew members. Once the cannons, they do most of the work of punching through the armor, but the, the, the rifle does a really great job of taking out crew members. So I think that will be pretty cool. Ooh, actually, we have the grape shot cannon. It's cheaper than the full-size cannon, um, and it does disgusting things if you can get in range. So we're going to go with that. Um, we will stick with that on top. We're going to need a full-sized ammo bay. So let's get a nice big ammo store and I'm going to put on the explosive overlay so we can see what is about to blow up. Nope, not the berth. Corridor with ladder. Take this up the middle. Okay, great. So this corridor is going to blow up if these things blow up, but it's okay. I'd rather the corridor blow up than than our cannons. Okay. We're going to need a bridge. I don't want that to be right over the bombs. Not a Not a great place for it. Let's go ahead and put our... We're going to need at least two of these crew quarters, I think. Um, and if that blows, it's going to take out all of that. We may actually have some, like a hollow space here in the center. That could be kind of cool. Uh, we're going to put this here. Put a corridor with a ladder like that. Man, this, if, when it blows, and it's going to blow. It, it's going to take out most of our ship. That I almost want to add some extra padding in here. Like it's going to make the ship cost a bit more, and it won't be able to fly as high. But that increased durability, I, I think, will pay off. So let's go ahead and connect. Oh, we don't need the ladder. We just need a corridor like that. Come on, give me another corridor. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We're going to need a, a coal store. And I like to put this right next to the, the fire point here, because this is where they're pulling water from to put out fires. And we still need a bridge. Is that going to get taken out when that blows up? Eh, it's not too bad. I, it'll survive. I'm okay with that. And then we're going to need... We still need the lift chamber, and we're going to need our propeller. Okay, so there's our lift chamber. When it blows up, it's fine. And the propeller. Uh, we actually need to put a ladder in here so that they can get up to the the coal to be able to supply the lift chamber. And then we need a propeller. Oh man, a more vanilla ship I have never seen. So we've got it. But it's functional, you know. It is also too expensive for us right now. I, it's going to be worth us hanging on, and this is without any armor on it too. It's still too expensive. But it's going to be worth us waiting a little bit to produce it, because um, it. This is going to be a a decent ship. It's going to be able to defend. It may not be able to attack, and it's not going to be great against buildings. But having it sit next to our existing defenses is going to be enough of a deterrent to avoid a lot of the fights that are going to be coming our way. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. All right. The only thing that we, 
we don't have that we might want is a repair bay. Mm, we could fit one right here. And if we do like this, it's going to keep us in the action a bit longer. Uh, we still are good on crew. And it's a little more expensive, but all in all, it's not bad. It's only going to provide eight supply for that single hatch, which means now we need two supply hatches. Okay. Um, I guess we'll put these on the bottom. These are going to look really stupid. Let's put them here. Oh, we can put them next to the explosives. And then... I don't have to worry about that getting blown up when the explosives blow up. Okay, this is a solid ship. I'm happy with this. And we've got repair tools within reach of all of our guns. Um, do we have a bridge? Yes. I think this is good to go. So let's go ahead and save this. We're I'm going to call it the, the Cestus. I don't know. It's a little Roman sword. I think that's a good name for it. And now we've got to let time run just long enough that we can afford that. It's still out of our reach for the moment. Oh, do we not have a research? Oh, come on. <laughs> Uh, all right, so what I want to go for first is we need better armor. Um, using the wood armor is just not going to cut it. Uh, we'll need this medium steel armor, especially if we're going to be a cannon-based build. This is great because it also comes with the next level of cannon. That's pretty. That's pretty nice. I want to upgrade our research program but I also really need to build this ship. And I think we're still just barely short of it. Nope, we're good, okay. Wonderful. Oh my God, that's ugly. We need to, one sec. <laughs> Whoo, Lord. Let's put some paint on that ugly, ugly boat. So I want to go ahead and upgrade these to steel walls. They cost the same as the wood armor. They're better against cannonballs um, and explosives. They're slightly worse against rifles, uh, but it's only a tiny bit. So I, it's a pretty safe bet that this is, this is a good choice for us. Um, let's do something like this and like this. Okay, and then in here, now let's go over our decorations. <laughs> the size of our entire ship. Uh, all right, I think that looks kind of stupid. I would take this though. That's not bad. It looks very like German World War II-ish. It's ugly as hell, but functional. Uh, and let's put a couple of these fun bits and bobs on it. So we can do, oh yeah, a nice little flag. This is gonna be our ship of the line here in the beginning, a little Corvette. And we can still afford this. Please build it. Oh, so much better. So much better. Now, we pray that everybody leaves us alone. Oh, of course you're moving to invade our city. Make sure it's well defended. They are coming to Doveton. Let's see what we have in terms of defenses. Uh, not much. It's got... Yeah, this isn't going to do a whole lot of anything. 
what kind of what kind of armor does this have on it? I hope it's stone. It is stone. Okay, so it's got decent defenses. Um, now, for weapons, it's got three rifles on each side and also a ballista. Not great. It's, it's not going to scare off anybody, and it's not going to beat anybody, especially if they've got bombs, because they'll sit right above this thing and pick it to death. So... Not crazy about that. Probably going to lose that city. And I don't know that we can do anything about it. We don't have a starting ship, so. I got to figure out what's going on with that because it just puts you at a huge, huge disadvantage right at the beginning of the game. Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> this puts mine to shame. Now, that said, this thing looks cool and it's got four cannons, one rifle in the front, one rifle in the back, and you may have some hidden bits and bobs inside there, but it is built around a blimp right in the center, and that is a huge vulnerability. So we've also got fog, and since my, my defensive building is down in the fog, we have a pretty good chance. If, if anybody was going to beat this thing, this is... This is a fight that we may be able to win. Okay, we don't have command over this. It didn't have a command module, so I can't tell it to use accurate fire. Uh, you see it's dipping down into the fog to try to get away from our stuff. Come on. Okay, the, the, having the ballista there on the bottom is just completely stupid. It's unable to shoot upwards, so it can only take out ground units. Not useful. Uh, will you guys? Will you let me know if this is too loud for you guys? It's pretty loud for me. Oh, <laughs> we're taking serious damage. One sec, I gotta fix the volume. I can't hear myself think. Okay. Yeah. Well. Oh, nice. Yeah. Please, please come over to the fresh side. We still got rifles over here. Let's speed this up. It's kind of just going to play out. He's either going to have his blimps blow up or not. And we're going to die without having killed anything. How the hell are his blimps still up? He's going to make it through this without... No excuse for this. Uh, really terrible. Okay, we're done. He surrendered. He got to take Doveton. Wonderful. All right, let's please give me a ship. <laughs> We've also got these gargoyles camping in our area. Uh, I, you know, I think they're not doing anything. It doesn't say that they have an effect, but. Also, ooh, nice. Okay, they didn't move. They want to do the fight. Okay, they don't have a building, do they? Wonderful. All right, so we're going to move to back here. I have got a crap ton of cannons, and I really... It's nighttime. We're going to have terrible accuracy, but we do have that crow's nest. So, all right, let's do this. Do some normal firing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You poor idiot. Oh, come on. Put the fire out. You're right next to the fire thing. Okay. Come on, boys. Take it down. How these tanks aren't taking hits. That's incredible. They're so vulnerable. They're getting stupid lucky. All right, let's put on rapid fire. I mean, we're... Oh my God. Oh. We 
he's surrendered because god that's awful okay okay do I still have this ship <laughs> it it let me keep the ship out of pity but we absolutely lost that fight okay so what we need to do here is we've got to do a, a repair and refit we need what I'm thinking is we add some of those balloons to this we'll add them beneath the ship and offset them by quite a bit but it'll let us get up in the air some because um, right now we we have a pretty low service ceiling well, right now we have a negative service ceiling because that stupid module blew up. So let's go ahead and first open this. All right. That kills me that that guy survived. Okay, but let's put these on here. And what we want, we need to add 120 meters to our service ceiling. Uh, it's kind of off-centered. It's going to bother me. Let's do it like this. So I want to build some space into the center here. And then we're going to strut all of this together. Strut. Do like this and like this. Okay, what does this look like from the outside? What? Oh, I guess I didn't save the paint job. Good job, Tyler. All right. Go ahead and add the steel back to this. Okay, yeah, and I want my little gold charge added back to this guy. Okay, so it's got a little bit more lift. I can get a little bit higher. Uh, he's not, he's actually a bit slower. We have enough money, that's good. Okay, and hopefully rebuilding doesn't cost as much as fitting it in the first place. Uh, we're gonna have to expand though. We are going to become very poor very quickly. So he is sending his second ship, I'm guessing, over to Nem. Um, at this point, it may be in our interest to save up and go ahead and buy a second ship. Because I, I feel like this ship could do things and we just got really unlucky. We didn't even pop the balloon in the center of their ship. That is bothering me. It's made it through two different fights. Um, how much does this ship cost now? It costs 847. We've got a design for a cheap bomber that costs 680. I think comboing these two together could be really powerful. I'd like to try that. And then we'd have something that could really do some damage. All right, where is he headed? To Woundford. I'm guessing because Sour is on its way. So he has to choose which one he's going to defend. And Dubton is mine. I want it back. Give it back to me. 
And as soon as we have 680, I'm going to go ahead and build a second balloon. Uncontested victory. Wonderful. OK. We probably should design a defensive building. I'd like to do something that could put up some kind of a fight. The issue is the the cannons just don't they can't aim up very well. And so having cannons on a building it feels stupid most of the time. Uh, so unless the thing that you're fighting is also using cannons, they're just going to get above you where you can't hit them. So, all right, well let, let's see what our menu of buildings is. I mean, that's nothing good. That's stupid. This isn't terrible. I mean, this is a chunky ship. It's the vigilance. Okay, this is my. So this is the one that I designed. It's ugly as hell, but it's accurate and it's got a, quite a few rifles on it. It performs pretty good. I, no, oh, we don't have the fire extinguisher, so I can't use this. But what we could do is maybe open that design and remove the fire extinguisher from it. It's not bad. Yeah, it's just this. OK, we can totally do without a fire extinguisher. They're nice to have, especially when you're really far away from the fire point. But uh, I mean, if it's not an option, it's not an option. Let's go ahead and save over the vigilance. We can put it back. OK. And we have enough money to afford this. So what we're going to do is go ahead and tuck this all the way back in that corner. The idea of this is it has like, there's nowhere. I mean, you, so you can see the firing arcs here. The rifles can shoot almost completely behind it. It has no blind spots. So it's not super tanky. It's just using stone walls. So it, it won't live forever. But it um, it's, not, it's not fragile either. We need to paint that. First arms color. I really think it needs a, a tiny little flag on the top of it. Wonderful. OK, let's build that. And hopefully that helps me keep this area. Between the two of these, we definitely can defend it if somebody attacks. Uh, I don't know that we could fight off two enemies, but we'll see. All right, OK, we need really what we need. I don't want the bomber yet. What I want is another one of these Cestus. A second Cestus would be quite nice. Oh, here we go. We're fighting. This dude is ready. This one, is this new? I just not noticed this before. Oh, somebody's invading you, you jerk. OK, so. Either way, what I'm hoping, this guy is going to beat the crap out of him. He's going to lose that fleet, and then I'm going to have fun down here with Strut. Strut? I can't say that. No chance. Hopefully, they don't have good defensive buildings, because my ship is still not great, as we saw with the first fight that it was in. Oh, they turned around. All right, so we'll see. I I would guess that he's going to... Oh, there he goes. All right, get back to Dufton. Oh, I hope we make it there in time. We really need that second ship. Please give me another one of these. Oh, my God. Why? 
here. Let's it's in the auto save. We don't need to repaint it again. Okay. Yeah. Please overwrite this. Thank you. Can I not afford that? Oh, it costs 900 because of the balloons. Dang it. <laughs> it's going to fight against my rifles. That sucks. That sucks. All right, do I have command over this thing? It is raining, so fires will go out on their own, probably. Let's turn this up. We're gonna, oh my god, it's not even against the wall? Oh, come on. Well, I at least want him to blow it up all the way so that it's not there to fight me. I think it's basically defenseless now. Okay. Defeat, survived, and survived. I, but it is theirs now, right? Okay. Do we build our ship? Can I afford it? Still can't afford it. Lovely. Let's go. I'm ready for a rematch. Okay. The light is shining. So right to left is left accurate. That is in our favor, finally. So we're going to duck back just a tiny bit. Hopefully he doesn't also do that. Oh. Yeah, I, I want him to run into the blinding light while we shoot holes all through his ship. Okay, we're going to have to move some. Like that. Okay, we're going to move down here. That's not good. All right, so we're losing the balloons already. He somehow still has all of his. Oh, come on. Let's go. <laughs> oh, for the love of God. Let's go over here, please. Not good. Get off the damn island. Oh, we got the balloon. Finally. OK, let's get up in there. We're going to turn on rapid fire as soon as we get a little bit closer. Are we having trouble floating? Oh, the whole, all of the balloons are out. That's why. We're going to turn like that. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. We're just getting smoked. Uh, there's nothing I can do about this either. Let's flee. I think we might still be able to get... No, nope, it's immobile. Great. So he got to keep the city and his ship. I'm not sure what's going on here. The enemy fleet is moving to raid one of your cities. What is this? Pirates? I think we're done. Like, there, there's not going to be a comeback from this. We're going to have to start over. I, I'm not sure what's going on here. New game. The Zybar. OK. I want to know why I'm not getting a ship in the beginning. Is that is that a thing that comes with very hard? Because it's really important. You, you're you just useless in the beginning. You can't defend anything. All right, I'm looking this up real quick. Conquer these skies. V. 
very hard. No starting ship. Huh. And Google doesn't have anything for me, so. We'll try something else this time. I do want to use this. Now I know these cannons can be effective. This is our home city that doesn't have a ship again. Okay. Well, it's consistent, if nothing else. <sighs> okay. So let's do research. We're going to be researching that heavy armor. And we are going to use severe secret police. They're not going to be blowing up my buildings for free. But... We need to get a ship out as fast as possible. And that means we gotta wait a few months to be able to, there it goes. We've got two ships coming to steal our territory and I can't do a goddamn thing about it. That's f so fucking annoying, okay. Yeah, I may just have to turn down the difficulty, but the lower difficulties don't have, uh, uh, like, the enemies are really stupid. They build the same ships over and over again, but I, I don't know how to compete with this, where they've got, like, tech that is not available to me and a ship that's equipped with it. It just, I'm not sure what to do with this. Okay, what's our starting building look like? It's that same harpoon thing. Okay, so their ship, it looks like it might be a bomber with some bombers on it. Okay, well, we took out one of the bombers. Do they have bombs? Nope, no bombs. All right, we're going to speed this up. We don't need to... There's not a lot of input that I can have on this fight, so. I wonder what theirs is made of. It's not the same material, is that right? Like, mine should be made of bricks. Oh, ooh. Seeing little explosions. Are you running out of crew? <laughs> well, at least we're putting up a fight this time, right? So I'd love to knock, hit something vital on their ship. Ooh, ooh, looks like we got something good. Come on, do that again. Oh, not great. <laughs> okay, whatever. I can't do a damn thing about it. And again, one more time. So this guy only has these little hussars. So this actually should be better for us. He's got some hussars, which are really weak to rifles. Really, really weak to rifles. They should just pop one after the other, really. Okay. Now, I think I have more guns than him. And he's got these little... They're compressed air tanks inside of this. Or the... It's a suspendium dust. And if we can get one of those to pop, and he comes down into range of our ballista... This could be good. Yeah, he's 
gonna lose this fight. So that's nice. It's about time that we win one. Okay, so this guy's gonna be using these things, which means that we're gonna need our ships all equipped with just regular rifles. Oh, ho, ho, ho. get another one, please. This is just an attrition thing. We're going to see which of us kills all of the other guy's dudes. Oh, nice. Surrendered. I hope that means that they lost that ship, but I doubt it. Okay, we're going to build... What was this ship? It's three bombers, a balloon. It costs quite a bit. I, I, I know that this ship can do it. I believe in it. And it, it looks kind of cool now. All right, we're gonna not do fast speed because we keep losing fights. Really? Okay, well, this thing is still alive. We need to get rid of this ballista. It's useless. At least give me a cannon. Come on. But honestly, I'd rather have two more rifles than a cannon. Let, let's see. How much do these things cost? Weapons. The ballista is two recommended crew. Cannon is two. Yeah, I mean, it's just better. Which one has the better firing arc? Not a good firing arc. What about this one? Same firing arc, even shorter range. I'm kind of thinking we just put two extra of these on here and call it a day. Okay, and we'll put... We really could use extra crew. It's probably the biggest weakness of this thing. We're, you know what, we're gonna put another bunk in here because having that extra couple of crew is Oh, actually, we're well above what we need in crew. I got this backwards. So you've got your recommended crew here, and then what you've actually got. The recommended crew isn't strictly accurate. Like, you can have much less than that. It just means you've got dudes waiting around to take over the guns when your other guys die, which is always good. You know what I'd like is to put this supply hatch over here and then have a repair bay. You know what, we could probably put this up. Shoot, that's not what I wanted. Okay, what if we did, I want a repair bay is, is what I'm trying to get in here. But we're gonna need that supply hatch. I just haven't figured out where we're gonna stick it. Come on, give me the repair bay back. There we go. Um, we could put it here. That would be fine. I'm okay with that. A reinforced supply hatch. That's pretty good. Okay, we're going to save this design as our Radiant Fortress. And we'll refit the thing that's here. I don't know that it's going to get done in time for this fight. Probably not. Yeah, no. Uncontested? Oh, God. Oh. oh. So not only did we lose the money for that upgrade, but we also lost the area, and we didn't even put up a fight because it was under construction. Well, now I know. 
That seems dumb. It should just fight the way that it was if it's not done with its upgrades. Okay, we need... What? Are these bombers? They look like bombers. All right, this is not going to go well for us. We're going to lose every every single piece of land that we have. Oh, they're borders. <laughs> Even better. Oh my god. I think this time I'm not even going to have to give up. It's just going to like, I'm going to hard lose. Okay, we're going to wait till that guy gets a little bit further away. And then I'm going to sneak in there. This is my starting fleet. Have I really not had a ship yet? And I, I'm down to one, one city. So sad. Okay, well he's far enough away. I can come in here and take this without being afraid of retaliation. Really? Oh, because they captured it. Oh, come on. All right, here we go. We're going to start lower then. I don't want to get shot by his rear guns as well. I wonder if... I, I can fly behind them. That would be worth it. So let's start as high as we can go. Well, and then I'm going to go ahead and have him move all the way over here and then flip. Have you in accurate mode for now. If you're going to shoot your guns, make sure you're hitting. It's nighttime, so both of us have an accuracy debuff. All right, bring the guns around. Here we go. We're gonna have him move down here. Get nice and close. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Come on, scoot back a little bit. And let's. Rapid fire. I'm gonna have scoot, scoot yourself back just a teensy bit. Oh, this is beautiful. Finally. I mean, I'm blowing up my own base, but you know, <laughs> it feels good to win. Come on. I can see that ammo store right here. Give that a good punch. There we go. Victory. Stop shooting it, guys. This is my base now. Okay. Alright, we're going to have to have a second ship before I'm able to do it anything. I'd like to pillage, actually. That would be fantastic. But I need this fleet to go somewhere. Uh, I think, unfortunately, the only place for that fleet to go is towards me. Unless he uses it to engage that guy, but I, I doubt that's going to happen. Okay, we're going to have to invest in defenses this game. This city has no defensive buildings. Yes, I know. So we've got our building back. Still don't have any money. I'm afraid to go into fast mode. Like I like using fast mode, but it, I don't have any heads up when they're headed towards me and I have to have my fleet 
in their area or I'm completely exposed. Okay, this actually is a pretty good opportunity for me to come in here and take Pagora back. But Pagora is kind of far away from me. Ooh, it's even better to take that. I could take Quagrim. Ooh. Alright, where are you going? He's also going to Pagora. Where are you going? Nowhere. He's trying to come back. I just want to pillage it real quick and take some easy, easy cash. Ooh, uncontested. Wonderful. Okay. Do I have a choice of what I get to do here? Is this my place so I don't I don't get a choice it is worth income we don't have any defenses and I'm not gonna try to build anything here they're gonna get here way way before we would get any kind of defense up and running so this fleet if I remember right is the borders yep not interested in fighting with that and this fleet I can't remember what that had. I think we're just going to move back home. We had Pagora for like a day. It was nice. Yeah, and then they can fight each other. I don't I don't give a shit. We have like no money. <laughs> oh, so pitiful. I, I almost can't afford to even support another Zeppelin. We have to get more land. Try to remember what my historical borders were. I think this is mine and this is mine as well, but I can't, I can't enforce that. So not a damn thing I can do about it. Oh, they're coming back to defend it. <sighs> okay, he seems to be getting the shit kicked out of him, so maybe we go and take some of his land. I'm just worried it's going to expose Lubdub. Lubud? Okay, these guys are going to raid that same place, and I want them to raid it before I get there. Okay, they've got this little interesting shaped building. It's weaker on the right side. So what do we got? Snow, fires go out on their own. Oh, that's fine. I think what we do is we stay high, fly down beneath and behind, and we do our thing. All right, let's go. Put it in accurate fire for now. I should have had you moving, not accurate fire. Okay, get over here. Go, 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 go. I hope those cannonballs miss. All right. We're doing okay. We are doing okay. Now, we need to go ahead and start flipping and coming down. We want to come down right here so that our cannons have... There's a tree in the way. I need to switch to rapid fire. Come on. Here we go. All right, we're giving it way better than we're taking. Uh, this is probably going to pop. It's OK. It doesn't matter. Um, they're meant to be disposable. Let's see if we can hit their ammo. Come on, guys. Hit the, the guns on this side of the thing. I really, really wish you could specify what you're shooting at, because they sometimes just pick a target that you don't care about. Come on, get the water on it. Get the water on it. 
Ah, crap. I keep losing the suspendium chambers. Okay, we need to get water up in this front area as well, because... Alright, do we still have... We're not... Please shoot the guns that are shooting at you. Okay, we're going to fly up and around to the other side. Alright, am I stuck now? <laughs> of course we are. I think it's just that this tree I'm stuck on. So if I fly straight up, I probably can get out. Okay. Okay, here. We're going to flip around over here. I'm going to fly back. Flip around. Wait. What? Okay, all of those rifles weren't there 10 seconds ago, so I was thinking that they had been disarmed, but doesn't seem to be the case. All right, all we've got left are the two scatter guns. Please do your do your best, boys. Oh, that was good. We disabled that cannon. Oh, I think, I think we're going to take the day. Come on, come on, come on. Keep those guns running. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We, <laughs> we won something. Oh, okay. And we're going to pillage the hell out of this, because there's no way I'm going to be able to hold this. I mean, maybe I do, but I... Seriously doubt it. I can't afford to keep troops over here. I've got to move it back to get repairs. You know, it actually looks good. It doesn't look damaged at all. Okay, it's missing its um, suspension chamber. So we're going to have to go back to repair that, if nothing else. And this guy's coming up to take that. Oh, nope, got to defend. In the meantime, we've actually made some money. I can almost afford another one of my Cestus. And I think with two of them, I'm not going to have such a hard time. I can actually fight. So we're kind of in a position right now where I can't really fight. You know what could be useful? If we built a land ship. Now, Maybe. Let's see. I, we probably don't have any good weapons for shooting up, and that's going to be a problem. Like that, it would be prohibitive. Yeah, we. The only thing that can shoot up is the musket, and even that is directional. But it has a really wide firing arc, so not not the best. All right. Well, we'll wait until we get some kind of anti-air weaponry. And then I would love to start looking at building a land ship. Okay, so the defense is here. I kind of ravaged this. But nobody seems to be going after it. He has two fleets, but there are on the fence, it looks like, trying to fight off this larger force up ahead. So until that fight is over, he's kind of leaving me alone, which is nice. I want that. That's mine. Do we need to repair this? Yes, this will put our suspension chamber back. I don't It keeps getting blown up, and I'm not sure how to prevent that. It, we don't have any armor yet, so when we have that steel armor, this thing will be much more durable. And since it's a direct attack vehicle, like it, it relies on getting close and using these uh, scatter cannons, it really would benefit a lot from having those uh, heavier armor. You know, let's go ahead and just repair it for now, because right now it can't hardly fly. Okay, and we'll let other things play out the way that they play out.
this is worth more than my my little town here it almost makes me think it would be worth defending this it's kind of far away though and I I really don't have the manpower to defend it yeah he's gonna take that back and there's nothing I'm gonna be able to do about it enjoy all right let's go ahead and take Pagora that guy really doesn't have enough in him to to fight back And I want to keep Pagora. I do plan on having it more long term. This is the exact same deal. OK. So it's a little different in that we're going to have to fly in kind of at an angle. But other than that, it's the same. All right. Uh, we're going to have you start moving. You're going to fly straight here. see please don't hit the island it was really oh that was unfortunate I got a direct hit with that cannon okay we need to go down and flip I think this actually is a pretty clear path and I don't think he's gonna hit anything he's also very stupid though so I like the captain of this thing has no initiative he just does what I tell him Flip. There we go. Go ahead and swap to rapid fire. Okay. We know it can win this fight. Now, if it wins the fight is a different question. But it is technically possible. Oh, we got something good. Ammo. Come on, do that again. There's the ammo. I need to redesign this so I have better firefighting abilities. Right now I'm losing cannons left and right for fires that should be able to be put out. Oh, come on. Come on, get the water on it. Blow this up. Make that whole thing fall down. Let's speed this up. I, 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 there's not a lot I can do at this point. So, did we lose our propeller? I don't think so. Oh my god, guys. Come on. Blow up something that matters. Okay, I no longer have command of the ship. Apparently it's bridge crew died. Ooh, nice. All right, so we technically won. Do we get to keep our ship? We do. Wonderful. Okay, so since this originally belonged to me, I don't have the option to loot it. Um, and it's been ravaged by war. It's basically worthless. Not worth defending, that's for sure. How much is it costing me for secret police? Quite a bit. Not as much as it would cost me to keep replacing buildings that people are sabotaging, but you know. Okay, we need to repair this. I'm kind of interested. So we, we didn't have any major damages but we're still really, really suffering from what is this corridors? Okay, let's swap these. So, what, what two things did I just pick up? Can I undo? Yeah, it's the bridge and some quarters. I'd like to put the repair to. It's good that those are up there. You know what we're going to do is move some things around. So I'm going to put these two quarters right here. You know, they, when they get blown up, they get blown up. I've never had the ammo store blow up so far because people are 
making a point to put that fire out. But what they're not doing is putting out the fire that matters. We're Okay, so we've got that, um, and the the bridge. We have to put the the bridge back. Okay, on how the fire fighting is more centralized. I don't know that it's good enough to keep everything from going to shit. We'll see. So let's put. it be worth having this berth here just to have some extra crew members oh we're already well ahead of what we need for crew okay then what I want is just a little bit of corridor I'm also kind of tempted to put another gun. We have the crew. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do that. What I'm going to do is trade this for a cannon. Put this guy down here. I'm going to have two cannons and two of the grape shot cannons. All right, we, we already had it anyways. Corridor with ladder. Let's make sure our armor is good. Um, yeah, that's fine. We just need to paint things. Is the paint always messed up like this? Okay. It's going to cost a tiny bit more. But we've got significantly better firepower. Are you done? Wonderful. Okay. How much does it cost to build one of these now? Just over a thousand dollars. Whoo. Okay. He's got three fleets. I need at least another ship. I really can't do a lot of expanding until we have some way to defend and attack at the same time. This is kind of important for me now. I, I'm interested. Oh, okay. It had a thing. This is worth rebuilding. Uh, let's Why? That's very strange. Okay, let's scrap this little bit and then repair this. Put it like that. Interesting building. Nice. Okay, now we have armor. That should really, really help. Uh, something else I'd like to get are some fire extinguishers. Uh, or we could go for flamethrowers. I'm a huge, the, the flamethrowers are just so cool. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. 
we're going to start chasing the flamethrowers. If nothing else, I'll get rockets, and we can play with the rockets a little bit. They're pretty. They're fun. Um, not terribly useful, but they're fun. Let's use steel armor, at least for our important bits. I'm okay with having the, the old... Yeah, well, <laughs> it's so much better than this. It weighs a ton, like 10 pounds per unit instead of what the old one, what the old one was two. Yeah. Um, but so much stronger. So what I want to do is protect our vital pieces with this. It's not going everywhere, but I want it on the ammunition. I want it on our grape shot cannons, if nothing else. Let's see, what explodes the most? Ammunition. This keeps getting hit. It's getting hit a lot. Um, it's got low hit. Actually, it has pretty decent hit points, but people keep shooting it for some reason. So, oh, and I need to fix the struts on this thing too. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that back. And let's go to armor. We're going to do steel armor on that and on this. OK. We haven't lost our service ceiling. It hasn't gotten too bad. Um, and I want these cannons to be protected. It's a little low, but it's not terrible. OK. Oh, yeah, we have our ammo is all stored right here. Probably worth putting some heavier armor on. It's going to cost us 100 bucks to do this. I think that's well worth it. Let's go ahead and refit. The real issue is that it's making us heavier. So we're getting slower, and we can't fly as high, even with the balloons. Um, it might be worth replacing the sabotage construction of the Cestus and Zybar. Yeah, screw you, buddy. I haven't been using spies yet, because I have no money. And they're pretty powerful, but you have to have money to be able to use them. Let's make sure that we have defenses in our home city. Oh, wow. That's interesting. And stupid. Really? Ballistas? The only thing that is good against is ground units. I think these are muskets. OK. Great. We're in the 1700s. Everybody else is fighting World War II. We're in the 1700s. All right, well, now we have our heavy armor Cestus, and I am ready to put it to work. I'd like to see what kind of damn. Where is his ships? He only has one? If I could pick up a couple of others, like at least one other town from him, it would make defending his area a lot more reasonable. Uh, this guy's huge. Holy shit, this guy is huge. We need to pick at him or he's going to get too big. This is also historically my land. So we're almost back to where the game started. So proud. Abton Dice. This is, this is my town. OK, they've got two. It's a little weird. OK. So they've got a building that launches bombers, which is OK for me, because I mean, I'm, they're going to hit me, but it's not going to be the end of the world. Oh, what just happened? I don't want to do that. We want to start. OK, so we're going to have you go ahead and move up to this position. Actually, I'd like you to fly over the top of it, turn around and sit like this so that 
all of your guns are aimed at them. And as the, the things fly at you, you can hit them. Why is this? Okay, I think it just sparks like that all the time. At least I hope that's what it does all the time. Okay. Now we're going to flip around. Hey, we did pretty good. We, we took some hits, but it wasn't bad. We can go ahead and move up. They don't have anything in this area. Nice. I think all that's in here is a gun. Maybe a tiny little ammo storage. Or do they have their ammo storage over here? That's really strange. Well, they don't have any ammo. That's how it works. OK. What a stupid base. All right, where to next? Uh, the obvious choice is we push ahead and go ahead and take Ebik. I think that he'll take it back, but in the meantime, oh shit, time is running. Okay. Okay. This is mine. We want to keep these things. Um, I'm really interested in holding on to at least to Abton Dis. It's worth quite a bit of money. God, this building is so stupid. I, I really don't want to spend money rebuilding it. Maybe if it was combined with something else, it would be OK. But it's really terrible. How much do I get for scrapping it? 42 gold. You know what? Let's keep it and also build a second building. Um, I mean, that, that would do it. Tons of ammo. OK, the vigilance isn't great. The Radiant Fortress. I like this one. It's also pretty cheap. And I think it performs pretty good. So, no matter where he is, I think this is a pretty decent spot. Let's go ahead and pull it out like this. And we'll repair this. Actually, Cancel the repair of that. We need to give it some ammo, because right now it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. Oh, it has ammo. Um, what was it shooting then? Like, there was a little rifle shooting out of it. I guess maybe the soldiers themselves are able to fire? All right, more likely, I blew the guns off of the thing, and so it didn't have any. Yeah, I, that that would be my guess. So let's go ahead and put two rifles back on this. So it should give it some kind of ump. And for armor, we can deck these things out. Still doesn't cost very much. Triplane is not available. <laughs> Uh, can't, okay, fine. Leave without saving. We'll just repair it for right now. I'll come back and work on it later. I want to cancel this. Uh, let's. We're going to do that same building, but we're going to do it with heavy armor instead. I think it's got bricks right now, which... Let's take a look. So... The, the stone wall has terrible blast absorption and pierce absorption. The steel armor, it has less HP though, but it has better absorption. Hmm. 
It's tricky. It costs a lot more, too. Yeah, let's see. We're going to open this. This isn't what I want. What is this? This building cannot be placed here. I'm not trying to place it there. I don't what is what's happening? Leave. Okay. Okay, it's doing the repair. That is what we want. Now, please do what I'm trying to say. We're going to open this thing. And it just goes to this again. God damn it. Okay, well, we'll let that finish repairing, and maybe then it'll chill out. All right, we should take Epic. If I can. I don't know what kind of fleet this is. Incoming fleet to Zybar. You're going to try to hit my main city? Unless it's a huge fleet, they're going to fail on their own. Right, so I'm kind of OK with them just doing that. can I'm gonna <laughs> I mean that will be an end to this campaign if they take my capital we're done for okay this guy's also coming good lord people find something else to do <sighs> I don't think I can make it there in time and if I move this guy's gonna take my stuff Pagora isn't worth that much so I'll take it back later we have another one coming in. They're both headed to, to Pogora from Pale. OK, and other people want Pogora. It's gone. Who knows? Maybe it'll. OK. <laughs> God, oh, man. OK, we've got three cannons from the base of this thing. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Take your shots, boys. In the nighttime. These little hussars are going to eat you alive. Yeah, put up a good fight. <laughs> Swarm. Those stupid things. Oh, God. OK. Um, I really don't want to move from Aptent Dis. And I don't think I need to. I think he can win this. As long as nobody goes after Quagrum. Can we win this fight? Hopefully it's not overwhelming. That's two ships. Um, they look cool, and they have those big artillery guns on them. They look very cool. Uh, they also look like they have technology that couldn't possibly be accessed at this point in the game. So that's kind of pissing me off. All right, I want all of you guys to go to accurate fire for right now. The light is shining right to left or less accurate. Great. That means it's going to affect you. And I want all of you to target this ship. Please duck down into where my freaking ballistas can shoot at you. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> They're smacking the hell out of this thing. It can't shoot the the ballistas though, because they just have such terrible like ceiling. Oop, oh, oh, there's some of them went. They're too slow though. 
And they're not staying down there, so. Like, if we could get this... Whatever he's using to suspend himself, if we could do enough damage to it to cause him to fall down a little bit, we could take him out super fast once he's on the ground. They surrendered? Oh, they just retreated, I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's regrouping with whoever's at... We need a second ship. I'm, I'm like months into this campaign and I still don't have a second ship. Uh, he's got like 30 of them too. Here they come. This is gonna be bad. Well folks, Depending on what's in this battle, this is the end of tonight's show. Oh, it's four of them. Okay. Well, there's no sense in falling back to here because it doesn't do me a damn big bit of good. Now, they are less accurate, and they're using these big heavy deck guns. I think, I'm not sure, but I think that these deck guns are difficult to aim down. They have a firing arc of about this much. So if I'm able to stay beneath them, it's going to make it very difficult for them to hit me. Uh, so with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and start from here. This is the one that's damaged already, right? I don't, I'm not actually sure that damage carries over. It's only destroyed modules that carry over between fights. So that doesn't do us any good. All right, let's go ahead and start. Yeah, we're going to need to take this guy out. They'll never hit us. Okay, they're now beneath me, which is exactly what I wanted to not let happen. Okay, and it's because I switched to rapid fire too early. I knew better than to do that. Okay, we're going to need to move. No, don't move troops. Stop that. To come here. You're going to come down here. How did they punch through my armor so fast? Okay. I'll have to back up. to get to the other side of these guys. We gotta make them... Like, I think the ship is performing well. It's just, I mean, we're completely outnumbered and outclassed in every way. Other than that, I'm pretty pleased with how the ship is doing. Okay, we probably are going to get stuck here. What is this? No, don't focus on... Oh, come on. I hit a key t word, and that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, immobile, no crew. Uh, all right. They didn't take the city, though. 
interesting. Can I can I build that? I, I need a little bit more money to be able to build it. Come on. $25. Let's do it. Incoming for Arbit's fund to blah, 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 blah. Yeah. We never quite got our break. And I, having such a bad start like that just is, I, I don't know that there's a way to come back from it. Just because you should have produced like two ships. I'm just now producing my second ship. Let's see. All right, let's speed this up. I can't do a damn thing if anybody tries to take something. So have those big guys fight each other. Incoming fleet coming to take Labud back. Actually, I can defend that as long as it's not his enormous fleet. Uh, my ship should be ready. Let's go ahead and move there. Come on, Labud. Together we can do this. Somebody's going to come take Quagrim as well. Poor Quagrim. I actually kept it. Oh my. What is this? Oh my god. These are incredible. Oh. Oh man. Okay, there's a fog bank. It would be in my advantage to drop down into that fog bank because they, I have that two times accuracy boost to cannons and they don't probably. So let's, you're already in rapid fire. Fantastic. I'm going to let them move a little bit, and then we're going to start moving. All right, so I want you to drop down to get in here. No, no, no. Get in that hole and stay there. Don't, don't you move. has missed. You do normal fire? You don't need a rapid fire. It, it's, you're already in the fog. Okay. I'm going to move them back a little bit. Okay. We're going to have to be careful about that. Let's go ahead and flip. Why didn't you flip? Hey, dum-dum. I hate that the F key is a shortcut because it's also the flip command when you're moving. Come on. No, no, no. Stay down in the stay down in the fog, dude. I feel like I'm doing pretty good damage to this thing. Ooh. Oh man. Don't you get me. Take evasive actions. Get out of there. I 
unless we can get we made it okay fantastic all right one down let's do another one is this ship dead dead or is it just like kind of dead Oh, I think we lost our lift chamber. That's very bad because those little. All right, we need to disengage from him because we've got to get back in this fog. Yeah, you have to focus your attacks on this. How are we moving? I still have a propeller, I guess. <laughs> Did I just hit something good? Man, he fell right out of the sky. You know what it was? We probably shot the guy that was operating the, the lift chamber. <laughs> I don't have any way to give propulsion, but we're not, we haven't fallen. I think I won. <laughs> oh man. The game we should have lost a hundred times. Okay, I think I still consider they, yeah, they said that I lost my ship. So I'm completely defenseless now. Uh, I mean, it has that building, but why is it underground? Can I just move it so it's not underground like that? There we go. Okay. Somebody's going to come take Quagrim. Does Quagrim have anything? Okay, it's got the weird... Right. Now we're going to sit around and wait while people come and take all my property because I can't do anything about it. Ooh, very cool. They've got a deck gun, three cannons. I don't know what all of this is for other than to look cool. I, I assume it does something. Oh my god. Come on, put up a fight. Butt plug bunker. I just like to take one of them down with me, you know? Like, that would be so satisfying. At least cost them something. Because their ships are worth way more than this little province is. Other than it's taking money from somebody else. How's the rest of their fleet doing? It's all doing fine. And if he ever figures out to get off the ground and stop hanging around down here, I'm going to be in trouble. I think we can afford to go into rapid fire. I mean, we're not going to live until the end of my ammo stores anyways. So.
All right, cool. This is actually the worst thing that they could have done. Because I've got defenses on both sides, and now they're letting me use all of them at once instead of just one or the other. All right, we lost something just then. I think we're going to take this one out. Maybe I should build more defensive buildings in the beginning, because this thing is really cheap, and it's doing a pretty good job. The next fire that we have is probably going to take me out, though, because I've lost one of my fire things. Oh. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Come on, take this one out. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I, I want to make sure he blows up as much of it as possible before I let him have it. Still don't have enough for a single ship. Oh, here comes the end. Put me out of my misery, dude. One of his big ships and four of his little ones. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Left to right are less accurate. So, I mean, this is great for me. I want everybody to be shooting this front one. I want to pop it out of the sky. There's dozens of teeny tiny little attacks. I'd like to see those stupid harpoons do something for once. That would be nice. Like, this is the worst spot this ship could sit. Because it engages all of my weapons. Both sides of all of these things. He's going to die just from that. If we can hit that suspension crystal, it's right there. It's all exposed. I at least hit the dudes operating the suspension crystal. There we go. He's done. Oh, but so is that building. <laughs> and then the harpoon guns go after it. So the second it goes down, we got a murder machine. But until it goes down, OK, guys, stop shooting that. It's not worth your time. There's nothing left there. Um, what we want, all of these are out of my command. They are all not under my command. Oops. I think we can fast forward through the rest of this. Ooh, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Bye bye. No, no, no. You're going down. You don't get to live through this. I like that once they do fall, though, they <laughs> just eat shit. <laughs> Because all of those harpoon guns get to actually do something. All right, we're running out of ammo. Wow. They're going to win purely by attrition. I think all of their, their guys are out of ammo. Well, you know, we made them pay for it. Who's still shooting? I think this 
still has a single rifleman in it. All right, is he dead now? I hope that little tiny gun makes something critical on this thing explode. Like, he doesn't have any ammo either. I don't see why he should be allowed to keep... We won? <laughs> uh, I wonder how many of their ships are left. Alright, we gotta look at our defenses. You guys did great! Uh, we're going to need to put Ooh, they lost. Okay. Okay. Well, it's looking better for us in a very strange way. Like we're totally broke. We have no land. But the big enemy that we've been losing our ships to repeatedly. Okay, come on. How am I messing this up every time? So this is. I'm kind of tempted to go after a boarding ship because we can't afford to buy ships. So if I could at least capture ships. Let's do that. I've got enough time. So this thing doesn't need really anything. This thing costs too much money. Yeah, we're going to go with the large suspension dust tank. And we're going to go with this and this. We're going to try to keep this thing as light and cheap as possible. I need multiple. So let's say. I don't even think we're going to have a fire point on this. OK. But what we do need, we're going to have to have at least one quarters. Is this like that? OK. And we're going to have Oh, come. Uh, OK. Yeah, we have it. We have it. Marines. OK. so. At least that and that. And really, ideally, we'd be able to put two of these on here. I, Because I really don't think you can capture very well without at least two. So with that, we're going to need some kind of propulsion. We don't have any guns. So what I'm thinking we do is we use, I don't usually use sails. But in this case, they actually will probably be better. Normally you have, you can't, uh, they're not efficient, I think, money-wise, just because you end up having to have a crap ton of crew to man them, and it, it just isn't worth it, in my opinion. So let's see, these are large fan size style sail. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna move everything down just a touch. So that f this is really just because it bothers me the way that it was looking, but 
Um, okay, so we're going to use that large sail like this. We're still good for recommended crew. We're going to have troops, two marine barracks, and we're going to have. I think we can get away with like a, just a cockpit. Supply, or we're going to need some supply. And we can command every 20 seconds. Yeah, that's pitiful. That's not going to work for me. So we're going to need a full blown bridge. But it's fine. We have the extra crew for it. Okay. Now, all that we need still is. How much is this costing? $600 so far just for this. I mean, this is nothing. I wonder if. That large sale costs quite a bit more than the other sales, and it adds not enough propulsion to justify its cost. It's 140 propulsion. I mean, if the thing falls out of the sky, it's going to, we're all dead anyways. So we're going to move these below the ship. I'm going to have a single sail on top. And we're going to, I mean, this whole thing is going to be, this is a flying death trap is what this is. We don't need this, I don't think. Yes, we do. How, what's the cost effectiveness of these? Generates 280 lift, generates 2000 lift. No, I think we can get away with these little ones just because the ship is so small. That gives us an okay service ceiling. We need to go higher than that. That's not good enough. So either we make this longer how much does this cost? Generates 200 lift, 280 lift. Okay. So I think we're gonna do two here, two here, one and one with the caps on the ends. And this whole thing, it has to be fast and uh, yeah, it's pretty fast. Um, we need struts. going to need some supply hatches. Trying to think of how to put these so they're not ugly as hell. I think they're going to be ugly. And there's not much I can do about it. Okay. Do it like that. And then we're going to need just hull. I, I just need like an empty cube. I know it exists. It's in here. One by one filler block. It's like that. And then we're going to put our sail on top of that. Now I want some one by one some kind of figurehead on this. I th 
So we can have a little, I mean, this one's cool. It's too big. We need a one by two version of it. Can I just, no, you can't flip that. Mummer. Figurehead with scepter. Okay, what does this look like from the outside? Is it like a lobster? It's way too big for my ship. No, that looks dumb. Also looks dumb. Okay, no figurehead. Got it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and armor this up. It's we need this to stay light as possible, um, and we need to keep our dudes from getting shot to shit who are inside. Steel wall has less health. I'm gonna stick with the wooden armor, I guess. I think that's appropriate for a boarding vessel. It's fast. We've got a good service ceiling. As long as we get there before it blows up. Because it's not going to last long. What is that? Yeah, that looks terrible. OK. Well, let's go ahead and paint and get out of here. Oh, we gotta have our little stamp of approval. What do we need? Something not all mutually accessible. <sighs> okay, this thing needs to be connected to. Uh, okay, this is actually not that bad because it kind of looked funny, anyways. So we're going to just put some corridors. <laughs> Corridor with ladder. Agile. <laughs> Although it's not at all defensive. So it's basically a death trap for anyone who's on, on, on board. So it either captures the ship or it will die very quickly. And we have to find somebody that only has a single ship. I could build two of those and capture two ships. That would be interesting. Let's, yeah, let's build another one. Even if one of them dies, if the other one is able to capture something, then we could be in luck. OK. I think it'd be worth sending a spy here just to hmm I'm hoping what kind of ships does he have he has two Oh man, I could, oh, these are prime targets. I think they're both bombers. 
unless they're also boarding ships, which would be pretty funny. Okay, I hope this one isn't more than two ships. It is slightly more than two, but this big ship, if I could take it, I could probably take out the two little ships with just the big ship. Okay, I hope that's its service ceiling right there. And we're gonna set you down here. Like, hmm. I, I don't wanna put all of my borders on one ship, just, it would be safer for me to do that. But if I could disable two of their, I, I'm worried that this guy is gonna attack this one. His borders will jump off onto it, and then what's they manage to fight off because it's only two barracks worth of of borders. It's not that many. Oh, it's, we'll find out. Okay, so you're gonna move here as fast as possible. You are gonna move here as fast as possible. Go, 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 go. Go, fellas. Get off the damn ship. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Somebody got on there. Okay, more like it. All right, this guy, he made it all the way to the bridge. I, <laughs> if he wins this, it's just one dude. All the rest of them are still on the original ship. That's hilarious, okay. All right, we need this guy to move to here just to get off my original ship. No, he did not win that fight, but he got damn close. Okay, so. I think they have an enemy guard on my ship. Hmm. Okay, we need to drop down low so that we can use our deck guns. That's the first thing that needs to happen. What's going on, guys? I, I must not, not have control of that chamber yet. OK, we're captured. Thank you. Let's go ahead and drop down low. What's our crew like? We still have 30 crew. Fantastic. Just get out of here. I need you to move. How do you not have any targets? Saying no targets for you or you. But I mean, there's clearly a target right here. I'm thinking the issue is that the crew isn't loyal yet. OK, it's definitely doing something.
I don't... these guys to kind of focus a little bit, I think. Keep your gun shooting here. If we could get one good shot on this, the, the marines from this other ship actually would come running over to board it. <laughs> That'd be great. That gun just shoot at my ship? Oh no, it's shooting at this guy. Uh, yeah, I'm not not sure what's going on. I think it's just that we didn't have enough borders to man this ship. Is this? Oh. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll give up just from sheer. Like, I think this one ran out of guns? Victory. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Whatever. I'll take it. I'm pretty sure I lost the ship that... No, I still have it. The Renown is mine. Okay, we're going to send that home for repairs. I think was a pretty good trade especially since I couldn't possibly afford the ship on my own repair okay I can't afford even the repairs for the ship Jesus okay somebody's gonna take Pagora it's probably that same fleet that I just messed with where is it flying the long way over there. Yeah, at this point we've got like world powers and I'm not one of them. The chances of doing anything about it, minimal. How does this thing flying? I don't think it has a lift chamber. Yeah, I, I don't know what's, it's like, click to intercept. I, I don't understand how I'm able to move around the map at all, let alone intercept. Oh, I still have that whole fort. Okay. This is actually kind of in my favor. He's not in the fog, and I am. I think I... <laughs> Okay. Wow. Nice. Yeah, the butt plug basis is a keeper, for sure. Okay. Do I have enough to repair this yet? No, still not. Next month I can. 
maybe someday. Here we go. <sighs> so, in terms of options, this little green guy is not strong. If he's probably got like one or two ships. Tibia is headed to Pagora. Well, we'll see how big that is. I can't do anything about it, so. And that's actually a pretty strong power. I doubt that they're sending something weak. They don't seem to have a lot of other military strength. I'd like to come take Abton Dis. I don't think that they can... Pogrom would be nice to have back, too. What's he got? Two of these spider walkers. They've got three cannons. You know, this isn't terrible. <laughs> it's going to be great if they all get stuck there. Come on, keep it up. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. You guys are doing great. Look at them. Look at them fighting. No, no, no. Get that out. I don't know why we switched to accurate shooting because we don't need it. Alright, we lost all of our... Why is that happening? I'm not telling it to switch to accurate mode. Something's like overriding what I'm... So, really our only... Oh, no, that's it. <laughs> Victory? Why? Okay. I guess I can't afford the repairs, is that? Probably. sure what's going on there. Okay, now we've got... Give me Apton Dis. It's mine. We need another one of those little pirate ships to board some more stuff. Come on, just... 
Just give it to me. Don't make me fight for it. Yeah, we're not going to go over there. Victory. OK. Now, we're going to need. I want Zangor. Can I have it? Can he stop me? Who? This could be nice. OK, can I repair that fort and Pagora? It actually, it does really, really well. And I, I'd hate to have it go away. What is it? What's it called? I mean, it's like this, but better. It's not that. It has cannons. It's a fragment of the Black Citadel. Hmm. Damn. I must consider it like broken beyond repair. Thing I can think of. Well, you know what we can do is look at. We've got that same building in somewhere else. Um, now this is uh, this is the terrible one with the ballista. This one is just an anti-air cannon. What do we have in Zybar? Ballistas. Good luck. All right, we're going to need to build a new building then. Um, the foundations for this is fine. That's not the problem. Uh, so what we need is a really serious repair bay. Actually, I think in the center they had The fire point probably was right here, if I had to guess. It was within easy access of like everything. We got these cannons. They. We need to get the cannons higher up. We're going to put rifles at the bottom. Well, this whole thing was like mushroom shaped. We want at least one cannon. On the back side. You know, what we could put is one of these grape shot cannons over here. Since they're not going to be able to go that far from it, it's actually a great place for that. Now, on this side, though, I definitely am more interested in the. the heavy cannons. And up here they had something like that. OK, well. <sighs> Let's go ahead and put a 
small ammo store down in the bottom. Put a bridge in here. This is a lot more cannons than the original design had, so it probably shouldn't do that. The original design just works so well. I don't really want to mess with it too much. like to put. We've got these rockets. Let's go ahead and use those instead of the little Oh, I forgot why I don't like rockets. They're extremely explosive. Yeah, it's much safer to put these up here. Okay. still need a bridge or at least a little cockpit. Okay, we're going to put the cockpit in here. So we've got two distinct locations for cockpits. Oh, we have a whole bridge. Can I get rid of that? Yeah, that's. I, I only need to change commands like every once in a while. OK. Now, the other part of this is we're going to need, I want the heavy armor. No more wood. Swap out this for a steel supply hatch. Come on, get out of there. Here we go. HP. And this one is better. It weighs slightly more and it costs a little bit more, but it's better. Okay. I think we're back in business. We can build. There are pieces that are just for shape. And I think that those have a really good use in cases like this where we don't need them. We just, uh, they're not for decoration so much as like taking hits for us. Okay, I can't, <laughs> what we need is a two byte, yeah, I like that. getting late I'm starting to lose my faculties okay so and now we just need little filler blocks for here and here great okay I'm happy with this let's paint it
We're gonna call it the the red, the crimson citadel. Fantastic. Not mutually accessible. Okay, what what's the problem? Okay, we can't reach this rifle. Well, well, let's get rid of it then. Remove module. Goodbye. I'd rather have that rifle on the other side anyways. Okay. And when we're ready, we will do that. But for right now, we don't have enough cash. Ooh, weird. Okay, what does the ship have? We've got these huge guns on top. I'm not sure what their thing is. We've got a telescope and a crow's nest. So we should have just incredible accuracy. We're using large suspension crystals. These guys are in a completely different league from me. <laughs> I really should just stick to using the uh, the pirate ships because I, I there's no way I can build a ship like this. Let's see what kind of guns they've got. These look like standard camera cannons. How are we doing over here? of those. Jesus. Come on. I'm staying over here because the light is on my side. There's really no reason for me to get closer. Uh, I've got plenty of accuracy and I'm, all my shots are landing and his are not. He's landing some shots. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Should really be kicking his ass. Much harder than we are. There we go. I think we hit some decorative light, but it looked really impressive when I hit it. You know what? Let's go ahead and move up. This is irritating me. I feel like we're not performing as well as the ship should be performing. Where's the coal? We got plenty of coal. We're kind of getting low on ammo, if anything. Yeah, let's stick to take aim. I, I really don't want to lose this fight because I ran out of ammo before we were able to blow up the enemy. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. He's blown through all of the... Come on, guys. Jesus. There's just no excuse for losing this fight. All right, move up here and use rapid fire. I don't think I have propulsion anymore. Awesome. <laughs> we hit somebody. Come on, all right, let's speed this up. This is boring. I think the only thing propelling me is the fact that my guns are pushing me. Okay, I, I don't know 
what just happened, but all of a sudden my ship started to respond. Come on. All right, it's a draw. Again, yeah, I don't, it seems to be inconsistent. Oh, they're gone. Start. How long do I think I'll hold this? Not long, let's pillage. Got a spy active. <clears throat> Good lord. Okay, I think this is going to be our last fight of the night. <clears throat> it's raining, not great. It, it's like a teeny tiny building. All right, yeah, it just gave up. Fantastic. That's the best way to go. Intercept, click to intercept. Let's see what kind of ship they had. Oh, it's these. It's just two of them. Okay, I think we'll be okay. I almost took these down with a building one time. All right, let's begin. I think we can go ahead and rapid fire. Um, we've got every advantage in this fight. I mean, it's as good as this ship is going to get. I want to go ahead and pull down here. Keep your shots focused, you stupid numbnut. Don't switch targets in the middle of the fight. Do I not have a water tank? There we go, we do. We lose propulsion again? Sure did.
Okay. Well, we lost the fight, and in doing so, also lost the ship. Not great. But you know, what sure would look good is one of their ships. For my own. Okay, I don't care about this at all. did not survive. Come on. It clearly exploded. Whatever. Okay, so we're going to have our hoplite here in a second, and I'm going to go take that other ship of theirs. Because I can. They perform pretty good. I think they're terribly made, but they do all right for themselves. So we can't go any higher, which means that we need to hope that he drops down. All right, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and tell them to get ready to jump on this thing. He's actually already coming really close to us, so we just have to fly over. Oh my god. <laughs> Half the Marines just leapt to their deaths. Just fuck it, dude. Get over there. Stop. Don't ding ding me. Get over there. It's like wind is blowing it backwards or something. It's ignoring what I'm telling it. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. And now my fleet has two. The owl. Okay, we can't capture it, which is weird. We need to send... This guy is horribly damaged, right? So... I think I need to send him back to Zybar to get repairs. And now I have the ability to intercept. I think I was just too slow before. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we're going to capture this guy. You have to be faster than the other, than the enemy to be able to do captures. Okay, where is he? Doesn't look like he's even here. It looks like he doesn't exist. Yeah, that's what I thought. He doesn't get to survive. He's dead. He's very dead. Deep Castle. I think this is mine now. Pogora. Who's coming? This fleet here? Okay. Oh my god. I feel like we're doing better just because we stopped trying to build ships that could fight and only build ships that can capture other things. Okay. We'll see what is here. I think... This should be a simple matter of flying in low, like really low, 
hoping I don't get struck by lightning. And we m might be able to dump our dudes on top of this building before too much bad stuff happens. I wonder if they can just run over there. Let's try that. Okay, they're ready to go when we get there. Oops. Oh shit, now they're on foot. Okay, we're gonna take you back. Take you back out of here. What? It's because it's a fucking boarding vessel. I didn't lose. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so fun fact, we need to stop building hoplites the way that we're building them. I know I said I was going to be done, but... little small ammo depot. Just one more thing they can blow up. Fantastic. Okay, we just need a hallway and actually it'd be good to put corridor with ladder here. Keep it as cheap as possible. My dudes would have won that fight, and I would have had two buildings. Okay, let's go ahead and build this. Did they turn around? No, they're still coming. Incoming fleet. I think this owl is in perfectly fine shape, if I remember right. It's the other one that had the crap beat out of it. Oh, incoming, Abton Dis. Well. Not a lot we can do about that. We will go ahead and move back to Z Zybar just to prepare. Uh, uncontested defeat. What a bummer. Okay, I know that this fleet has like 30 things inside of it, which is why I'm not anxious to defend against this stuff. Um, we would need to be able to steal at least two or more ships to be able to do anything reasonable. Okay, he's got one ship. So sending the hoplite down to deal with this one ship in Inipec? Inipec. would be great. 
know for a fact he's only got one. So I'll capture his ship and then we'll run out of there. Is this stupid? Let's see how long it takes to get a spy in that city. The bud. Coming from Inapec. So it's him? No, it's that country. It's called Inapec, maybe? What the? The hell? You. That's not Inapec. Okay. They're going to Labud. I could probably defend that. It's an important city for me. So I'd like to defend it, if at all possible. So they've got one of these stupid things and some of those, and they've got this, which is probably another border. Just having that is enough to get him to leave me alone most of the time. Oh, you're not completely defenseless? All right, fine, I'll leave you alone. I want... Okay, I want to see if moving this gives me, no, I don't have any additional options. We could send it over here to Quagrim. out. Ooh, yes. It's one of these. That's good, because I wanted to save that as a as a type so I could use it. It was so effective. And it's really cheap, too. Okay. So we're going to have you move. You're going to move right here. Just get there as fast as you can and have your borders start coming outside. Come on, come on, come on. Capture the cockpit. Really? How did we lose? Okay, flee. Can be more of a real fight than original. Oh, thank God. It's just one of these things. Okay. Yeah, this is 
absolutely my win. OK, let's go ahead and do that. Get you guys moving outside. And we're just going to drop down. Please board. Now you're moving? Now that he's no longer beneath me? Okay, okay. We're in the bridge. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, we got it. <laughs> I thought somehow we had lost. Here we go. That's more like it. I'm just going to build a small fleet of these stolen ships. It'll be great. Okay. I bet. I bet. Okay, Spy is active here. He's got this one ship. I'm not interested in that one ship. I don't know what it is. Now, what I could be interested in is what he has up here. Oh, boy. of stone walls that would be cheaper than what I've been working with can I do this I have to get fire extinguishers first right okay that's worth it infiltrating the city okay we need to send some of my troops to other areas because I can't afford to have this many here Okay, he's super slow. Ah, man. Is there like a revolution here? They changed their colors. Interesting. Okay. What do we have going down here? Let's go ahead and just have him come. We need you to move faster than the other guy because he's just too slow. What do I have here? <laughs> okay. He needs to know what they have. Okay, that's fine. Spy active. He's got one ship here. Man, it would have been perfect to pad my fleet. Okay.
Okay. Let's go ahead and Fantastic. That's better. So what's in these things? We've got the large sail, got two bunks, barracks, and three guns. These ships are atrocious and they cost 14 maintenance. Absolutely not. Um, I'm happy to, se to sell these two. Can I discard it for money? Or is it... Okay, we have to take it to a shipyard to discard. All right, so what we're going to do is have those two go back to Zybor. You know what? Actually... Their homeland is so close. Trying to get some use out of them before they eat it. All right, I'd like to take this 
and then they're going to build that thing. So we need to get there before they build that thing. So I got a gentle takeover that they're in, in progress. And then I'm assuming that they'll start building that thing that they were trying to build. Okay, what are these? These are those big guns on top, nothing else. Got it. I'm just going to move you two down low. set right here. Pull up, idiots. Jesus. It's like they're not in control of their ships at any time. I think this is this is a lost fight. I'd rather sell the ship. They're useless truly useless. And we'll easily steal that ship that's in in defense here. Okay. Let's go ahead and kick this off. First thing we're gonna do is give the board ship order. Get everybody moving. They're kind of slow. They, it takes them a second to get into position. Um, and we want to come and sit on him. I think he's going to be right here. <laughs> All right, we got several of them on there. I'd like to get a few more. Oh yes, you can see they're, they're storming the bridge right now. Oh, thank God. Okay, so now we've got a nice little fleet. Ooh, wonderful. I can actually defend this. It's valuable. Metopolis, we're going to have you come up here and help with that. We're going to send this guy south, I think. Oh, that's what this is. These two little shitty countries join together to make a, a bigger a shitty country. Uh, I'm like the smallest country still on this map. I probably am the smallest country. This blue stripe guy is pretty small too, and he's cut in half. So I imagine he doesn't, he's struggling pretty good right now. What I'd like to do is get, oh, we have enough for another hoplite. Oh, what did I just say? Nope, don't do that, please. What we want to do is come here and say, give me another hoplite. These I need to sell because they're so terrible. And then we can start working on a small ground unit is what I'd like to do. I'll take the remains of these guys and turn it into some kind of assault ground vehicle that is mostly just... Okay, do we have hoplite? We're going to need you. I don't know that you'll make it to Zybar in time. Where's it going? After my capital. Wow. Ballsy. I'm not going to make it in time with any of my reinforcements.
Let's see. I'm really hoping they're able to... Good lord, that ship is terrible. The only ship that's worth a damn are these that I keep stealing, and that big one that I had that I lost to being stupid. Ah, and I won. I guess the rest gave up. Okay, well, no, 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 go home. So in this fleet, we've got, oh, it considers that other one lost. Great. Oh, man. We need to take this. This this should be mine. So what I want to do is sell these two. God, they're worthless. Oh, my God, they're terrible. Oh. Okay, maybe we can reuse these somehow. Because right now they're so poor. And they're expensive. Two of these things. Fucking stupid. Let's replace that like that. Okay, so we have an extra gun now. Now, you can't even get up into this area, so all I'm going to do is fill this with a one by one filler block. Okay. So, let's look at replacing these with something useful. Now, I could do. Oh. This is good. So these are so bad that I'm kind of excited to try this out. These things would never kill anything with what they had equipped. But I'm thinking a flamethrower or two. And all of a sudden, this ship starts looking like something useful. So let's go ahead and. How much ammo do these consume? Rate of fire, 20 per second. I mean, they've got to get right up on the enemy to be able to use that thing. The other thing that we could do is strap this full of rockets, but I'd like to give the flamethrower a try. We could actually use this to destroy some of those buildings from the home that these people came from. Wasp. We're going to go ahead and refit that. It costs a, a little bit, so I'm actually spending money. You cannot invade when you're cannot move fleets when your treasury is empty. Okay. What? Shit. Why why am I crippled? Give me some money. There we go. Okay. I didn't know I was going to use every last dollar I had. Okay, so let's send probably just the hoplite. I He's terrible. All right, start. Yeah, well, we don't have any guns, so. Did he turn around? No, he's still coming, and so is that fleet. Come on, finish that damn hoplite. Thank God. Where are you coming for? Jesus. Do they all have, like, a meeting? And we're like, oh, we're going to screw Tyler's area real hard today. Okay, 
Well, we're going to wait until that fight happens, I guess. Um, is there something I needed to do? Well, at least we have the hoplite for here. If we win this fight, we can deploy again. Okay, his job is just going to be to ram this thing as hard as he can. Um, this guy is going to move up as close as he can. Let's move him down just a touch. If he can take out one of those ships, I would be thrilled. So we're going to have.
<laughs> Captured. All right. This has been a very different game than I was expecting to play. But I think our strategy is winning, so I'm not going to complain too much. You know, let's head here. I don't know how big this force is going to be, but it can't be that big. They're not that big of a, a power. Actually, let's have you move here too. He's still coming. It's either really strong or just really stupid. I can't tell how damaged these things are just by looking at them. How is this thing flying? Indefatigable. Okay, so this guy, we're gonna have you go back to Zigbar because you're crippled. Are you coming? Lubbock as well? is this? What the hell? Okay, I just want this. I don't know what these things are, and I'm... I think these are full of marines. That's going to be a problem. What if I just retreat? That's exactly what they are. I was afraid of that. That means we need to move you way back or you're just going to end up getting taken. Okay, you're not moving back then. I should have known. They got harpoons tattooed all over the side of them. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Well, I I guess I'll take this big one since I there's no reason not to try. Okay, maybe take this one instead since you're attached to it. Just get off the ship that you're on. Okay. 
Let's see. Now, I, the real question is, do we get to use their borders for my purposes? Let's cut tethers, please. Let's get that ship off of us. It's going to blow up very soon. Can we still control this? Fantastic. Okay. Now we're going to have this guy flip around. Right? And there we go. Oh, God. Okay, well, I got most of my ships out, I think. No, we kept two ships, neither of which I care about. Okay. All right, that's enough for tonight. I got to work tomorrow. Thanks for joining me, folks. You guys have a good night.